let's be honest, we all love a discount and Squarespace is no different. So if you have a digital product or you run an e-commerce store on Squarespace, you can add discount codes to these. And it's also a really easy way if you wanted to set up like a super basic affiliate system, you can do that there. So I had a, a client request the other day and he said to me, Sam, we want to track how many people use a discount code. Can you first off add the discount code? Then can we customize what it says? Can we customize the amount? And then can we see the data of how many people use it? And can we set an expiry date on it? And I said, <laughs> yes, obviously. And I actually recorded the video for this client because I wanted to show him how to do it longer term in sort of managing his, his site and adding these discount codes over time because he was going to add like a ton more. So I thought, you know, let's do one for YouTube as well, help even more people. So we'll get into it now. So to set up your discount code, what we need to do is go into selling. Then we want to locate discounts and then this plus in the top right corner, we just want to click this and then we can add the discount. So this is all we need to do is follow the instructions on this page. So we give it a name. This is what's shown to the customer when they use that discount code at the checkout. So we'll call this example discount and then the trigger, which is actually, I believe a newish feature is they can add the code or you can automatically apply a discount. So discount code, you can either generate it like this or you can just type whatever you want. So we'll do cool dude. And then you can say you can have a percent off an amount off or free shipping. I usually just go with a percentage off. So let's just say 25, that'd be 25%. Amount off, depends what currency your store's in. You could do 250 or just toggle free shipping. And there we go. We'll go back to percentage off, do 25. And then you can apply this to tons of different order styles. So we've got any order, orders over, where you would specify you get 25% off only on orders over $500. Then you can apply it to a single product if you wish. So you just have to search for that in here. So I think I've got some example stuff. If we select cup, we should, yeah, here we go. So you can apply that only to a milk dip cup, for instance. And then if you wanna get rid of that, just get rid. We go to digital products. You can apply it only to, let's say you have a course like I do, you can apply it to one of those, or you can do product by category. So you select which store you want to apply the discount to and then select the categories you wish to apply it to within that one store. Finally, once you've decided on what you want to apply it to, you would then set the total usage. So you can either say there's unlimited amounts of usage or limited uses and then plug in whatever number you want. So let's say the first 100 customers get access to this. But if we toggle this, I think, let's just see. Okay, yeah. So this is a, an upgrade feature that you need. So this is like a high level subscription where you get access to this. And then what we can do is limit subscription discounts. So let's say you only want to apply the discount code to like physical product or digital product, but you don't want to apply to subscription products. And this includes like split pay as well. So you can say exclude subscription products or just the first payment, or you can say it applies to all payments. Then if you wish, you can set a start and an end date. So let's say you run a store and you send out an email and you say the discount starts tomorrow at 9am. You just go, okay, tomorrow and it ends the next day at 9am. So we'd select Tuesday, 9am and there we go. Or if you wish, you can just say never expires. Toggle that and then when you're done, hit save and you're good to go. Then if we navigate back into discounts, you will see that we have a discount here. It tells you everything that you need to know. So the name, what it does, what, it, what it's applicable to, how many uses it's had, what the code actually is. And that's going to sit in scheduled, obviously, until it starts. And then it will go into active. Let's say we did set an expiry date for this. Once it does expire, it will then sit in inactive. Now, hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.